Hello friends, welcome to another lesson series. We are going to build a starter kit using Svelte kit and InHost. This starter kit will have user registration, user login and reset password, change password and also will be sending a welcome email when a user registers. I think these four things is very, very common in all applications, like 90% of the applications. Um, so that's what we are going to build and we are going to use Svelte kit which is the official Svelte JS framework. So Svelte J is, is a compiler which compiles your code into JavaScript, very performant. Um, so we will use in that framework, build a framework built on top of that. Uh, it is not fully production ready but it is close uh, so we're going to use it anyway. Um, and next for the back end, we are going to use Enhost, which is basically an open source Firebase alternative with GraphQL. So we can create our tables, we can give our permissions, and we will get our Gra GraphQL API. Enhost also provides us authentication. So we can easily handle user login, user registration, and all, all that just using this Enhost backend. We don't, don't have to do anything. Endnotes also gives us storage, so we can store our images, files, and all that. So all good. So I think this is a really good backend to use. Um, so the things that we need to install, that you need to install, I have already done so, which is Docker. You need to install Docker. Uh, you need to install Hasura CLI. I'll add this link in the description. If you're using Mac, just copy this and paste it in your terminal. You can in Linux here in Windows here. Um, so, uh, so to test, let's see what we have. So I have, of course, I have Node installed and npm. I have Hasura CLI installed. This is the Hasura CLI. We'll give the Hasura version. And we have 1.33. We have Docker installed here. And yeah, we have Docker installed. Um, so let's first begin by creating a Svelte kit project. I'm gonna copy this right from here and paste it here. And I will name it as starter kit. I think that's a good name, starter kit. Put a hyphen in there. Okay. I want a skeleton project. I don't want to use TypeScript. Yes to ESLint. Yes, to prettier. Okay, sweet. Um, let's TD into starter kit and open up in VS Code. I think VS Code has crashed. Let me exit, quit, and start again. Yeah. Uh, thank you VS Code for that. <laughs> okay, so we have a source directory and within that source directory we have routes. So Swell Kit has file-based right routing system. So we create a about us about .swell page, it will be a route. So let's first run this. Let's first do h uh, one oh, and do about us page. Okay, let's save this and let's do npm run dev. Of course, we have to install first. Why do I not listen to the instructions given right here? <laughs> so we see it into starter kit. Let's do JIT in it. JIT add, okay. Uh, we'll do that later. We'll do npm install here. And finally, we have to run it. So doing npm run dev and hyphen hyphen open, which will open the browser as window as well. So let's do that over here. Okay, so this is what we have. So we should have a about page as well. Nice. Cool. Um, what I will do next is create a github repository and push this into github okay let's do that 
I'll go to my here. I'm going to say starter kit. It's going to be public. I don't want to do anything. Creating repository. Okay, I will do JIT in it. I'll do it here. JIT initialize. I will do commit. I will name it initial files. No, I didn't add it all. Let's do it through here. So click in this, we'll add all our files. And from here, I can do a commit initial files. Okay. And finally, let's switch to the main branch. I think it's better. Faster. I want to make it main. Let's make add the remote so that we can push to it. Finally, we can push to our main branch. Nice. Okay, now let's see our files. Perfect. Okay, so now the front end part of it is done, basically. Now let's create a project on Enhost. Um, here you can go here and log in. I am going to use my GitHub account and here we are. That's it, like basically. You, uh, yeah. So I'm going to create a project called Starter Kit. Starter Kit. I'm going to use the 14D free trial version. I'm going to select Amsterdam and I'm going to select Postgres 12 as the database. Okay, create project. Nice, it's creating our project. Um, until that, I think I'm, I'm not sure whether I did say that Enhost itself has a CLI. So there's a Hasura CLI and Enhost itself has a CLI that we can use. So let's take, okay, okay, we, okay, let's take a look at that. We'll finish that first in host. Let's go to documentation and here we can have CLI. So you have to install in host globally. Let's copy and do that. Paste it over here. Okay, and it's going to install in host globally. And this will give us a end host, end host as well. Uh, end host install CLI. So we need to install uh, end host. Um, yeah, but we'll do this part later on. First, let's connect our GitHub project to our end host project. Okay. So we can do this by clicking here and selecting add new and we have to give permissions for that repository that we just created and mm, okay start kit. i don't okay so we have utpala start kit i'm going to save and i'm going to close this one and i'm going to from here select the start kit as a project okay so if we go here Utpala starter kit is connected to our in-host project now. So what this is going to do is it's going to run deployments every time we push to main branch or master branch. That's how it works. Okay, so right now we haven't initialized our project uh, locally in in-host. So we can do that right now. So to do this, we'll do in-host login. First, we need to log in to our in-host CLI like we do in Firebase, of course. And uh, let's, I have to confirm. So I will get an email. I think I have already have it. Verify and okay, email confirmed. Now I have to initialize this project. So it's an host in it. And then I get to select which project that I want to initialize this project. To. I want to select it start kit. Nice. So this will this will create migrations, metadata, and all that. Uh, so it will do all the work that we need. So let's check out the files that it created. Okay. Um, so it created an in-host directory which has metadata, 
migrations, seeds, and a config file. In there's also they have created a .nosh file a directory and that creates the that has the project ID which we uh, project ID yeah and uh, yeah that's about it it has created a .env .development file with some fields we'll get into those later on okay so that's that so let's um, push these files to our github repository when we do that we will get another deployment through nhost um but initialize let's say nhost project and do a push nice okay so let's check out our github repository initialize a nose project okay so that should trigger another deployment we'll go here yeah see 11 seconds ago initialize a nose project another deployment happened okay um so that's basically it so we have a dashboard with the graphql api and the backend authentication links two links we have the postgres database we have the hasura console where you can click and log in i'm going to get the admin secret and paste it and see what we get nice um yeah so we in our database data you can see that there's a users table and there's also another database table that should you should be aware which is auth this is being used by nos itself we don't have to touch this that much only thing that we have to touch and change is this database table this, this database so you can create all the tables that we, we wish to have by default they have given us a users table for this migration for this you can see the migration for this in here you go to nhost migrations in it and up dot sql you can see that they have created the auth accounts auth rules and finally there's a users table here there you are so the migrations is also created for that table okay nice so we have created a nose project we created a github repository we created a swell kit project and we connected our GitHub repository to our Innos project. In the next lesson, we will in, uh, run the Innos backend in our local machine. Right now, it is only live and working in our uh, uh, in our in live servers. So let's do it on uh, local machine in the next lesson and move on to doing a user registration it is really simple and i am really excited by you about using nhost as the backend for all my future projects okay i'll see you on the next one have a wonderful day and take care bye